What's up, everybody? Welcome to J Max Sports Cards. Getting ready here to set out to go and look at a sports card collection. So it's going to be interesting. First time ever doing this. The guy seems to have stuff from this maybe late 70s to early 90s. And not a real big collection, up to like 3,000 cards, he's presuming. There's some newspapers and some magazines as well. So I'm going to go get some money at the bank go check it out i may, may or may not be able to film in there we'll see how it, the guy already seems a little bit sketchy he was uh very, very adamant i need to know what car you're driving blah, 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 blah. so he was a little bit sketchy so uh i, I highly doubt i'll be able to film in there maybe try to snap a couple pics of the collection as i'm looking through it so stay tuned we'll jump right into it made the deal bought it for 500 can't see but uh, big cases of stuff here 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 set packs here game day some magazines more boxes of stuff here and these i've all been going through so it's enough to make it worth my time so i'm in it all right i'm leaving got the cards loaded you can almost see a little bit back there maybe not but um so yeah i mean it's interesting it's it's not overloaded with rookies and stars but there's enough in there where i'm gonna make it work there's some jordans there's some brett Favre rookies there's um shack rookie i saw there's um and there's a bunch of it's kind of annoying he they look like they were unopened packs, but he opened them and he'd open them and put them back in the pack. So, and there's tons of those. Uh, and there's a bunch of sets. I'm gonna go through them, pull the stars out of them and rookies out of them. And um, then I just gotta really dig into it. He also threw in some old records and then some, some magazines um, of all types. So there's enough there where I think uh, like, like there's quite a few Jordans, which made it, which really is kind of what put me over the edge. Because I think I'm just going to send them, I feel like some pretty decent Jordans. Not rookies, but some ones that I can send off to get graded. There's nothing in there that's probably over $100 on its own that I could see. You know, obviously now I haven't went through every card. So, um, I'll get to the house and start sorting them. And once I begin getting them all sorted... I'll be, and, and get them laid out, I will begin to show them to, to you all and, um, and see what see what the collection looks like. Uh, all right, so we kind of got it all on the table, all the cards here. And as you can see, this is very annoying. These are open packs. He's already opened them. So we gotta go through all of those. But that should be maybe kind of fun. I don't know. But you can see quite a few, quite a few cases. Shoe boxes full. Um, I would say it's probably 10, 15,000 cards. And probably if it were 15,000, I'd say 10,000 of them. 
are common cards so it's a good collection not great so but there's like i said there's enough there where i'll be able to make some money off of it once I get it all sorted so um we'll check in periodically let you see some of the stuff we find Alright, so you can see the pile starting to stack up, but so we went through all of the packs that were kind of open. Um, these two stacks are all rookies I've went through that aren't like great rookies. These are, oops, these two stacks are stars or decent rookies, like halfway decent. This stack here is really good cards or, or, or much better cards. Magic Johnson, you can see Robert Ory rookie card. And some of them are because of my per personal collection type stuff, like that Dale Curry, he's gonna go in my personal collection. Uh, interesting card I found, this Shack Attack. Look at that, there's a promo card, number two of six. Number one of 25,000. So one of 25,000, that's pretty interesting. This is an interesting card, Dave Cowens. It's an older card. There's a, a Shaq Rookie. There's actually two of those. And another Shaq card. Early Richard Petty. Uh, Larry Bird. And these little minis, the tiny cards. There's a King Griffey Jr. in there. And then there's this unopened pack of Food Lion NASCAR. It says Authorized Signature Edition. Don't know what that means, but it's unopened. It's pretty interesting. So this is where we're at. Like these stacks, big giant stacks of commons. But we're, we're dwindling it down, and it, I mean it's looking good. It's got some pretty good cards in here. Still got this stack left here. This box right here. Not too sure what we're gonna find out of those. Magazines. Are you showing the magazines those we got? Not yet. <laughs> and we're going through the, those stuff. These were commons that have these ones here had uh, my daughter went through them, but I'm going back through them to make sure she didn't miss anything. And show these stacks here. So these, all these stacks here are either inserts. When I say inserts, I mean stuff like this. You know, not like numbered inserts, but th these are either stars or decent rookies or I mean stuff like Howie Long, Randall McDaniel, Randall Cunningham. So these whole stacks are not commons, but they're not like super valuable. These here are the higher end stuff I found. We sleeved them all up. And there's this stack of ones that he had sleeved up. You can see there's a like a 86 Dickerson, Eric Dickerson. There's a early Dennis Rodman. It's a it's an 89 Dennis Rodman. So it's really turning into a decent little uh, lot of cards. There's a couple just little random stuff like this is a a baseball set of cards. I, I opened it to double check. It's the whole set. Um, so yeah, it's turning into a pretty good collection. So I'm pretty happy. And we got a stack of vintage Playboys. So we're gonna see what so, those can. Oh, and some bench warmer cards too. So centerfold trading cards, stuff like that. So that's the lot in a nutshell with what we know at this point all right guys so i have went through i want to say 75 percent of the cards okay and i just want to give you a brief overview these are the higher end cards the interesting cards the cards that have potential for resale that uh uh good rookies good stars good hall of famers all these kinds of stuff so Let's kind of pan over and talk about them a little bit. Um, that stack is just a bunch of random cards. You see William Floyd, 
49ers. A lot of these are three or four uh, on top of each other. So some good Ken Griffey Juniors, Jason Kidd rookie, Sammy Sosa rookie. This was random baseball. Patrick Ewing, Brett Favre, which you'll see more of. I got quite a few Brett Favre rookies as well. Uh, Manny Ramirez rookies. He's an older Dennis Rodman, Aeneas Williams, Hall of Famer. Look at that pile of Scottie Pippen. Some might be gradable. Tony Baselli rookie. Jeffrey Hammonds rookie. Tyrone Poole. That's my personal collection. Carolina Panther stuff. Big stack of Charles Barkley's. Alex Ochoa rookie. Sam Cassell rookie. Jawan Howard rookie. Jason Kendall rookie. John Stockton. Pile of John Stockton's. Ron Sandberg, there's a few race cards in here. I think this is like a Jeff Gordon, first or second year card, Richard Petty. Kenny Lofton rookies, big pile of David Robinson, Doug Christie rookies, Dave Cowens. There's an unopened pack of Food Lion uh, NASCAR cards. There's a full set, game day, 92 edition. Bo Jackson's, Jalen Rose rookie. Kim Olajuwon, Pile of Magic Johnsons, Stockton's, a lot of Larry Birds, lots of Alonzo Morning rookies, Clarence Weatherspoon, Harold Miner, Christian Leitner, oh, there's another Larry Bird, Tom Gugliotta rookies, some random baseball, Drew Bledsoe, David Justice, Chipper Jones, Eddie Murray, some minis, a Griffey mini, Tony Kukok rookie, a stack of Barry Sanders, a stack of Steve McNair rookies, Doc Rivers, Jake Reed, um, let's see, Rodney Monroe, Kenny Anderson rookie, Larry Johnson, Robert Smith rookies, a huge stack of Miller Ryans, a stack of John Barry rookies, Alfonso Ellis rookies, Tony Bennett rookies, Reggie Jackson, Cordell Stewart rookies, Charlie Ward, Kerry Collins rookies, Jamal Mashburn, Barry Bonds, Cliff Floyd, Cliff Floyd, some Dale Currys, Mark Waller's rookie, Jimmy Smith, Latrell Sprewell, a Ted Williams set, Greg Anthony, Brian Cox, and Mike Kroll, Todd Light, Herman Moore, let me skip some of these, and Joy Galloway rookie, Natron Means, Cal Ripken Jr., Mario Bates, Marshall Falk, Jerry Rice, Tim Pugh, rookie. Mm. A bunch of the Kimbe Mutombo rookies, which is pretty cool. Now, to the kind of things I'm highlighting here. Oh, this is pretty cool, a John Casey rookie. There's all those Brett Favre rookies. A Sean Dunstan, J.J. Stokes, there's three or four. Uh, J.J. Stokes rookie cards. Johnny Damon. Thought that was interesting. I hadn't looked these up yet. Chan Ho Park, rookie card. Trent Dilfer, two of them. Hall of Famer, Warren Sapp, rookie. And Antonio Freeman, Curtis Martin, Eric Dickerson, well, not as a rookie. Still a pretty good card. Chipper Jones, rookie. That's an Isaac Bruce, Hall of Famer. And then look at all of the Jordans. I've looked up some of these, some are selling for graded uh, between 100 and 300. So I'm gonna get a lot of those graded. Then you get into the shacks here. There's, all these are shack rookies. Some of these are trading between graded two to $300. So that pile, that pile, I absolutely pay for this, for the, for the $500 and then some. Deion Sanders rookie. Uh, William McGinnis rookie, which is pretty cool. And this is pretty cool too, Terrell Davis rookie. Three of them, Hall of Famer. So, there you go. That's what it's looking like. A lot of work in two days to get it all sorted and get, you know, through all the commons. And, uh, but it's well worth it, man. This is what the good stuff looks like out of the collection I bought.